All right, welcome back, folks. Uh, today we're going to be making some dowel centers, and these are useful when joining two boards together, um, getting perfect alignment, and hi, buddy, oh! and uh, that sort of thing. So um, let's get right into it. How about that? Oh, thanks. Thanks. thanks so I'm going to use this maple dowel that I've made earlier, and. Um, cut a little tiny piece off of it. Now the trick with making a center is that you need to drill a hole in exactly the center of the dowel. That can always be really tricky um, trying to do it by hand because no doubt there, there's going to be some kind of uh, angle um, and it's just very very difficult to find exactly the center. Um, unless you have a lathe it's really easy to do it on a lathe but I don't have a lathe. But I did think of a way to do it uh, flawlessly every time, safely and accurately. All right, so we're going to be using the drill press to do this. And the way I plan on doing it is to chuck my bit and drill a hole into a piece of scrap wood. But if this is clamped down, then it's not going to go anywhere. And uh, then what I can do is reverse the bit and put the bit into the hole upside down that I just drilled. And then what I'll do is I'll actually chuck in the piece of dowel rod and then I'll lower that onto a stationary bed. And that should be exactly the center. So let's give it a shot. All right, now I just need to unchuck this bit and reverse it, put it in upside down into the hole that we just made. Maybe easier said than done. Oh, there it goes. A little tight fit. And now let's chuck in our little uh, maple dowel that we made. Doesn't have to be too deep. I think that's good enough. Let's take it out and have a peek. How about that? That's right in the center. That's perfect. Next step is I cut a little 1 8 inch strip and I'm just going to drill two holes in it uh, with the exact same bit that I used to drill out the center of the dowel. Just like that. And what these are going to be, uh, these are going to be, we're going to cut circles out of this and these are going to be the uh, flanges on the centers. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw some circles around these holes that we just drilled that is slightly larger than the diameter of our dowel. So I'll make it kind of like that with my compass and I'll just drop into one of these holes and start drawing a circle. If I can, if I can do that. <laughs> All right, now I just need to get this nail through the ring that we made so I can use it for alignment when we're gluing this onto the dowel. Just like that. Okay, so now it's time to glue. So I just need to put a little dab. A little dab will do you onto there, spread it around, and now we'll fit this piece right in the hole, 
and push them together like that. Okay, let that dry. And what I'll do next is we'll trim down this nail. Uh, we'll pull it out and then we'll trim it down. We'll put it back in so just the tip is sticking out. Just the tip. That's all we need. <laughs> Alright, I've cut my points to size and I'm just going to tap them into the hole right now. They should fit down there with just the tip exposed. Just like that. Alright, I used a metal file, sharpen the tips, and they're done. Look at that. So now to test them and uh, we'll see if the alignment is just right. Should be, but let's find out. So to test it, um, let's say we want to join these two pieces of 2x4. The first thing we need to do is drill two holes for the dowels. Alright, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of paste wax to the ends of the centers. Just so that... Uh, they slide in a little bit easier, lubing them up. Okay, so we insert our centers. Oh, just drop right in. Perfect fit. Look at that. Perfect fit. So now with those in there, we line up our two boards just the, the way we want them. Give them a squeeze. Pull that out and we should have two holes. And that tells us exactly where to drill our next holes. So uh, let's do that and we'll slide some dowels in and see if it works. Alright, so I drilled the second set of holes and I went and I cut a couple of maple dowels and I'm going to drop them into the original set of holes. That is a snug fit. And we will see if things line up. So I think that go it goes like this. Yep. And look at that. Perfect. Uh, that is a tight fit and everything is perfectly lined up. How about that? Alright, well that's going to about do it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I don't really care. Um, be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up on this video if you don't mind and uh, we'll spread the good news of how awesome and easy it is to make dowel centers. These things are going to come in quite handy for me and uh, probably for you too if you uh, make a lot of panels and that sort of thing. So um, again, hope you liked it. We'll see you next time. Take it easy.